Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to transform a sort of row theater to group theater. First, press transform. Look for visual binning. Move the variable to variables to pin. Click on continue. Name the pin variable. You can use group since this is representing the group theater. And for the labor, we can use back the original labor, which is part of a group of students. There are two types. One is exclusive type, one is inclusive type. Choose the one that we prefer and proceed to make cut points. For the first cut point location, refer to the minimum value, which is 151 or we can use any number that's slightly lower, for example, 150. For the number of cut points, depends on number of groups that we prefer. If we prefer five groups, then we should use five plus one, which is six cut points. For the width, we can use the one that's suggested, or we can change accordingly. Refer to the maximum, we have 188 we can treat it as 190. Take 190 minus 150 divided by the number of groups, which is five, and we should obtain eight. Change accordingly. If we use inclusive type, we should take last cut point minus first cut point plus one before we divide the number of groups. Click on apply. We can make labors and click on OK. And we should obtain the group data once we click OK again. Let's analyze descriptive statistics. Click on frequency. Choose the group data. Click on chart. We can select histograms if we want. Click on continue and click on OK. We shall obtain the group frequency together with the histogram. However, if we refer to the x axis, we will realize that SPS has converted the data from skill level to ordinal level. To overcome this issue, we just have to transfer the data to the data field by using the make point. For example, for the first group, we take the lower limit plus the upper limit divided by 2, and we should obtain 153.5, and so for the rest of the groups. Try for also the frequency. What we have to do next is go to data and select weight cases. We should weight cases by frequency. Click on OK. Next, analyze again discrete statistics frequency. Remove the previous variable. And now we should use the midpoint. And we just have to uncheck display frequency table. Click on OK. And we should obtain the correct one as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.